When it comes to feeding ourselves and our families, we want to make the healthiest choices possible, but sometimes with our crazy schedules and our hectic lifestyles, we tend to eat on the go, and I know that we do. So how do we eat healthy and keep it convenient at the same time? Today we have nutritionist and dietitian Carrie Luetti, and she's going to tell us how. Hi, Carrie. Welcome to the show. Hi, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm excited about this topic because I have a lot of friends that dehydrate food. What are the advantages? Well, there are a lot of great advantages. Uh, it's one of the best ways to make convenient, nutrient-dense food that just tastes great. Um, dehydrated food actually helps to preserve the shelf life, um, so you don't necessarily have to refrigerate either. And it also helps to preserve the nutrients in the food as well. So how does it preserve the food if you're pulling moisture out? With really high heat cooking, that can help to um, diminish the nutrients in the food. So one of the best features of a dehydrator is its low heat temperature. Mm -hmm. So by using that low heat, we can preserve the nutrients. And another thing we also preserve are the enzymes, which are killed at really high heat. so essential for healthy eating. Absolutely. So those are really great reasons why. Yes. Can you share with us the process? Because it seems complicated, but something tells me it's not. It's really easy. Uh, the dehydrator does exactly what it sounds like. It's dehydrating the food. So it's pulling the moisture out of the food. And the moisture is actually what facilitates uh, bacterial overgrowth. So once we pull that out, that helps to extend the shelf life of the yeah. food. And this process is so great because we can really control what we're putting in our food. So we don't need to add all those preservatives or all those additives and we get to save money as well. Right, because we do buy in bulk. A lot yes. of our viewers buy in bulk to save money, mm -hmm. but then you throw the food away because it goes bad. So this yes. allows you, which is so important, it allows you to preserve the food healthy and, and have food on season as well. That's right. And we have some amazing recipes doing very much what we just talked mm -hmm. about. Can you share this one with us? Yes, these are our fruit leathers. Great very name. easy to make and kids love them mm -hmm. too. All you do is you're just going to choose your favorite fruit and you're just going to take a blender. You're going to blend your favorite fruit together until it's a nice smooth consistency. Then you're going to take one of these Paraflex sheets mm -hmm. and you're just going to smooth the mixture. Put it right on here. Right on top. Very right. thin layer. And then stick it into the Excalibur Slide dehydrator. It Slide it in. It's good to go. Let it very do its simple. thing. And yep. it's obviously it's reusable so that helps with the environment yes. as well. Tell me why you love the Excalibur so much. Well, one of the best features of this dehydrator is that it has a dial at the top so that you can control what temperature you want to put it at. Um, it also uses parallel airflow technology so that it creates uniform drying with the foods that you're, you know, preparing. So it's simple to use. We're saving a lot of money. Very it's, simple. It's a win-win. It this is a beautiful recipe, too. Can you share with us this? Because this is unique. Yes, this is one of my favorites, too. These are kale chips. Mm -hmm. um, very simple to make and a great way to um, really increase the nutrients in your diet. All you do is you take kale and you're just going to devein it. You're going to shred it into small pieces and just massage it into a nice water salt mixture. You can flavor it any way you'd like. Um, we have a mixture of honey, olive oil, and some Mexican spices. You just mix it all together and stick it in the dehydrator. Excellent, and it's such a beautiful presentation. And I love this one as well because this is beautiful. This is the granola, which is expensive. It can be uh, very lots of fat, lots of sugar, mm -hmm. and and it's costly. Right. So this is this is different. This is a great alternative. This is a great recipe to make with a dehydrator because of all those reasons you just mentioned. These are beautiful. And we have the holidays coming up soon too. Yes, we so do. So put this out for your families and. Uh, you got a winner. Yes. Thank you very much for coming today. And there's so much here. I wish you could see everything and taste everything that I get to taste, but will you come back? I will. We'd love to have you back. Thank, Thank you so you. much. To find out more about dehydrating tasty, convenient, healthy snacks, go to drying123.com.